Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at a scale. So scale is basically a 3D consistent pose representation system, very similar in concept to WAN Animate, but with some important improvements. The main idea here is that a scale helps maintain better identity, pose accuracy, and motion consistency when generating image to video results. This is the GitHub page, and right away you can see a few examples. You have the reference image, the driving video, and the generated output. This already gives you a good idea of what the model is capable of. Now let's jump to the official project page. Over here, you can find more detailed examples, the method explanation, and additional comparisons. If we scroll a bit, you'll see more demos showing how scale performs in different motion scenarios. So here's a simple example. On the left, you have the reference image. In the middle, you have the driving image or video. And on the right, you have the generated result. And honestly, this already looks pretty solid. Now this part is important. This is a comparison on self-driven complex motions. You can see scale's result on the top right. Below that, you'll notice comparisons with WAN, Animate, UniAnimate, DT, and a few others. This is where scale really stands out. Why is scale better here? The main reason is that a scale uses a more structured 3D pose representation, which means better understanding of body depth, more stable joints during fast motion, less distortion in hands, face, and limbs. In complex movements, other models tend to stretch, blur, or drift the character identity. Scale handles this much more cleanly. Now moving on, this also works really well with human characters. Here's another comparison between WAN Animate and Scale. And again, you can clearly see that Scale maintains better facial consistency and cleaner motion. It's not perfect, but compared to most existing methods, it definitely looks more stable. Now let's talk about the model download. So Kajal has provided a BF16 Safe Tensors model, which you can download if you have enough VRAM. But the really nice part is that there's also an FP8 version, which is great for low RAM and low VRAM users. I'll show you scale right here. This is the FP8 preview model, not the full one. Keep that in mind. Even as a preview, the results are pretty impressive. This is the workflow I'm using. As you can see, we're using the FP8 scale model, Light X2V image to video distilled LoRa, Torch compile enabled. All the links are available here. You just need to click on them and it'll directly open the model page. So it's pretty convenient. You'll also find the LoRa links and everything else in the same place. Now let's actually test it with a video. We're gonna use this dancing girl video to see how well the motion transfers. This is the reference image we're using this girl right here. As you can see, Scale also uses an ONX-based pose detection model, similar to WAN Animate. We're using 2D pose direction with W pose, which then gets converted internally into a more structured pose representation. So what's happening here is the pose is extracted from the driving video, converted into a structured pose format. Then, embedded using Scale's custom reference and pose embeddings. This is one of the key reasons why identity stays more stable. We also have the NFL predict model in the workflow. Now, let me quickly show you the sampler settings. First, the resolution, we're using 1216 by 704, which is a multiple of 32. If you want higher resolution, just make sure you stick to multiples of 32 for best results. Now over here, you can see the new scale reference, embed, the pose embed, both created by Kajai, the new WAN video sampler V2, scheduler version two. For sampling, we're using DPM++, SD style sampling with six steps. I've changed it to five steps and shift five just to make it easier to understand and test motion smoothness. Then we decode the result and here's the final video. 
As you can see, the output looks really good. The face stays consistent, there's no weird blurring, and the motion feels natural instead of jittery. For a preview FP8 model, this is honestly very impressive. So, DFANS is the decentralized creator's platform with AI-powered insights. DFANS is 100% AI-friendly and will never ban your account for using AI. This is a big deal. On most platforms, one man can freeze your assets, block your income, and disconnect you from customers. That will never happen on DFANS. If you have been banned anywhere else, DFANS literally welcomes creator who can work on other platforms. They never ban accounts, ever. But the real game changer is the new AI chatbot. With DFANS, AI chatbot is like having a real chatter working for you 24-7. You're focused on creating content and bringing traffic from other platforms. And the moment someone lands on your DFANS, AI takes over chatting and everything. So here's a real recording from DFANS of how one creator earned $3,000 overnight just because AI ended up chatting with a whale. And that actually happened. If you're a creator who wants safety, automation, and AI tool that actually helps you earn, DFANS is worth checking out. So I'll give the link in the description to check out DFANS. Thank you. All right. Let's see a few more examples to further text the capabilities of this model. We'll start by examining how well it can replicate dance moves. This is the specific girl we'll be using as our subject, and we'll be closely observing if the generated video accurately mirrors the intended dance steps. To enhance the quality of the output, I've made sure to connect the audio source, ensuring that the generated video includes synchronized audio. The initial prompt was simply a request for a video of the girl dancing. However, to achieve a higher resolution and a more visually appealing result, I upgraded the dimensions of the video to 1,280 by 720 pixels. It's important to note that all other settings were kept at their default values during this initial test. Now, let's take a look at the resulting video. After generating the video, I saved it for further review and analysis. Next, I explored the image multi function, which allows for combining a video with a pose. This is a fairly standard feature. Let's try using a different image and another dance pose to see how the AI adapts. Again, I'm keeping the other parameters, including the pose and settings, consistent to isolate the impact of the new image and dance. Here's the video we obtained using the new image and dance pose. The results are quite impressive. Her hair exhibits realistic movement, and even subtle details like the movement of her chest are rendered convincingly. As you may have noticed, the frame rate was initially capped at 81 frames per second. However, if you desire a smoother visual experience, you can increase this value to 121 frames per second. I also created a 15 second video, which I'll showcase now. Let's run this video to ensure it's functioning correctly. It's worth mentioning that generating this 15 second video took approximately 21 minutes on a system equipped with an RTX 4090 graphics card, boasting 24 gigabytes of VRAM. As you can see, the video looks remarkably good, with no noticeable face errors or other visual glitches. I've already downloaded this video, so let's examine it in full screen mode to appreciate the details. The quality is quite satisfactory. For one final experiment, I'm going to adjust the steps parameter, reducing it from six to five while keeping all other settings the same. This will allow us to observe the impact of this specific parameter on the generated video. First, as you can observe, this is the 15 second video. If a smoother motion or a higher frame rate is desired, you can experiment with values like 19 or 21 frames per second. In this instance, the video was generated at 16 frames per second. So with that, let's bring this demonstration to a close. If you found this video informative or helpful, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing to the channel for more content. This was a preview of the Scale FP8 version of the tool. Thank you all for watching and peace out.